Good morning, my name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. This is Miss Avi behind me today. That's what we're gonna be messing with. We're gonna be working on her a little bit because she needs some love. Anyhow, roll that intro. GoPro wasn't recording so you guys will just have to watch the reel aka on Instagram or I will turn it into a short from the view on the phone the cellular device hopefully you guys can't see see the shipping label don't don't be creeping now all right we're gonna set that down here now out of the way covered up and today we're gonna be messing with miss avi because again she's old and something broke shoot yeah, all right so you may have this issue where you're driving and now your automatic corvette i'm gonna go ahead and take off my faceplate for the stereo we don't need no sound where we're going or the dinging of the door but it's all right you may have noticed that it's not actually shifting into gear or transmission is not so there are a couple things that we can check and one begins under the car so let's go and do that real quick all right to check it underneath your car you'll probably have to jack it up because we are gonna have to look beside the transmission which you can't really tell from here but it's tucked way back in there all right we're right in front of the driver rear tire just going straight back under the car there you see the transmission pan and just to in between your exhaust and the transmission if you reach up there you will find your shift cable and since i have a spare transmission i'm just going to show you on that instead of jacking my car up because it's going to be in the same spot you just got to reach up in there and check the shift cable let's go check the other transmission all right so here's our other transmission it will sit in the car the same way this is the driver's side right here you'll see this is the shifter I forget what they call this this one's completely destroyed but this is where that pin will be for the cable that's your pin that your shift cable will be connected to and you might feel that it's popped off of there so that's your second their first spot that you can check let's go show you the second one now the second thing that you can check is right here in the cabin which involves taking apart your center console here and getting down into the nitty-gritty of your shifter itself because it should shift into gear <laughs> it does not so that means that something in the shift cable is either the shift cable is either broken or an end has popped off and there's an end up here inside of here I'll show you guys and there's one with the transmission that I showed you guys a little before this first we're going to open up the little center console and pop this guy out and undo this clip, which you may have another clip. And then the clip here also just pulls off for your outlet. Set that over in the passenger seat. And the only thing that we're going to need is a 10 millimeter socket for this one, this one, this one, and a flathead screwdriver and then a T15. I've actually already had them off and loose, so we'll just slide that back once you get those loose. And then what that can allow you to do is to find this plug here. It is very tight. But you can get that off. just like that 
and then you can set your whole middle piece in the back that will give you plenty of room now up in the front here you need to mine's already off but you'll have to pull out your little ashtray from there and right there should be a t15 there should be one here as well and then this is where you may also need a flathead screwdriver but i think yeah i can just get mine out with my fingers again and turn off my wipers <laughs> There's another T15 there. Like I said, I've already got mine done. So, once you get those out, the next thing you're going to do, just lift the e-brake a little bit. Put the car in neutral, drive, whatever. It doesn't matter since it's not working. It's not going to go anywhere. And you have to have your key in to do that. And that allows you to pull that piece off. And now we can wiggle this guy out but there is one more connection right there for another outlet and the wipers going again so I'm just gonna pry that off with my fingers maybe there you go got one in and that too can go sit in the back and now we have access to the rest of the seven millimeter bolts that we're trying to get to uh not seven millimeter i am sorry they are 10 millimeters there's four of them there's one that's slightly buried right there which we should be able to use our hand or a pry bar if needed to pry that guy up gain access to that one right there then there's a second one a third one and a fourth one all right, now that we got those off, we should be able to lift this guy up and out. And bam, there's our problem right there. And that is our shift link. And we should be able to, I hope you guys can see that down there. Oh yeah, that's the problem. We just happened to lose the little rubber piece that goes on that ball end right there. Okay, so now, if you guys can see that, it's all the way pushed back as far as it can. And now it's actually in place. But I really don't want that thing to be running because that's going to make the torque tube hot and I'm, my hand's down in there and everything. So it is in park. And it does run so if we go that's park and if we go one forward with this thing which is pretty tough to do one handed or at least left handed and right handed Ugh, yeah I can't pull that thing anyhow you can shift it you just have to know that all the way back is park and from here we can actually inspect let me get some light on there we can actually inspect the other part that could be broken without having to jack the car up which is right there and it looks like it's all intact and looking good so hallelujah thank you Jesus it's just this clip right here and that is something that we can fix with a little bushing. It is nice and dirty in there and with that torque tube and everything. But I hope that this helped you guys out. Those are your few places to check. I will figure out where and how to get a bushing for this. Show you guys how to put that on in just a little bit. Alright, after a quick run to the parts store, I went to O'Reilly's and they actually had them. This is a, a shift cable bushing kit. So there's quite a few, I've got them laid out right here. And this is a Dorman part 14041. So go, go, go there, grab one of those, or I'm sure you can find it online. This was like $10 compared to some of the Corvette kits that are out there that are like 30. So I don't know, I, I like to save a little bit of money where I can. And what we're going to need is, I've got them in order from the biggest to the smallest, and it's actually the second smallest one that we need, and we're just going to put that guy right on there, 
it's just gonna snap in. Let's try this. I have to take the camera off. Hang on. All right, we're gonna try this with a pair of pliers. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. Now that that's on, we can put this back down there and we're gonna have to reach in there and put it inside the shift cable right there as well. I'm gonna do that now. I definitely need both hands for that. To get this on there, we're gonna have to put the key in and then shift the shifter all the way down to first because that gives us a lot of playroom down there. And then you pull the shift cable down there as far forward as it'll go and that'll put it into first gear. And so then we can, should be able to have a little bit more playroom to connect it. All right, so I've got the shift cable down there with a couple fingers and the connector part. And I'm getting ready to just push this together. But I want to show you guys how I did this because I know I know sometimes that's what we need in YouTube videos. So that is how I'm reaching in from the right side, the passenger side. And I'm going to snap those two together. All right, so once you get that kind of set inside of there, you can reach your pliers down in here and pinch the two together. I know you guys can't like totally see that, but that's how I managed to get it together. So I'm just going to make sure that this little sleeve down here comes back up over over that and then we'll be able to button it back up oh. now that we've got that down we can put our boot cover back on and then we'll put our 10 millimeter bolts back in our four spots down here there's one there again one right there one there and the last one is under that guy so right there you'll have to just keep that moved for right now once we get this one in we'll be able to put our parking brake cable back in spot which i guess that's not really the parking brake it's just that that's what tells the cards in park and releases the key so that's all that does i think let me know in the comments all right now we're ready to put everything back together in order to do that the key again has to go in there put the gear put the shifter in first gear get this thing locked up there and prepare this is not gonna totally go in because we got the keys and we got some things to plug in E -brake okay now that it's sitting there we need to plug in this outlet which thankfully this is pretty easy this one just clips on the back and then I've got an idea to, for my uh, subwoofer that I'm gonna attempt to do too let's get this thing plugged in all right there we go now I can put it back in park take the key out so you got to feed your key through there we're gonna put our t15 bolt back in there one there and one back there this is my idea right here for my subwoofer so it's just gonna stay right there for now and you guys probably have mounts down here with 10 millimeter bolts though that's where those two will go these are plugs for this center console that we can bring up here now and it's all right don't forget to plug in your uh fuel door release button if you unplug that i totally did so i about was not able to do that so just a quick friendly reminder don't forget to plug that wire back in before sliding this guy down which is your center, center console that i'm talking about and then you'll have um two more plug in this guy for the outlet there 
So you got power inside of there. And then this one for your traction control. Or if you got a fancy one, you got the mode selector for traction. Oh, I love that. You gotta upgrade. You gotta upgrade. Anyhow, this snap that back together. But we're not quite ready for that because we got some bolts to put in still. And we gotta do these ones back here. After that, it's good to go. So let me get there. There we go. I think that's gonna work out good. So we'll close that and boom. Lift it up. And we're good to go. I like that. That'd be a lot better than having it on my side shining in my eyes at night. I like that. That's slick. Alright, there we go. You can enjoy driving your car again. Look at that, we good. And it shifts just like it should. Where's my mute? There we go. Oh yes, I love it. And this is gonna work out pretty good. I'm gonna find some kind of sticky, little sticky or something. So help hold that in place down there, but that'll be nice. I like it. If this video helped you guys out, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the thumbs up. I think that's what I need to say. Smash the subscribe button, and we will catch you in the next vlog. Have a great day. God bless y'all.